carriage rides on all these port cities along the east coast of North Carolina and the east coast of the United States. All the horses that we own and uh, use are French Percherons. They're draft horses. They're all um, males that have been gilded. Um, they were rescued from uh, auctions that, um, let's just say they were going to buy them for their weight, okay? Um, so what, how's that happen? Is that the Amish um, train these guys. And what they do is um, make them farm ready because they use them instead of equipment. They don't believe in equipment. So what they what they have is um, pairing about three years old. They make an evaluation. The pairing goes like let's say you got one horse here and one horse here. That's not fair for this horse. He can't do all the work. So this horse is too slow. So what happens is after they just can't get this corrected, then they now call us up. But then when we first started. John uh, rescued the first horse just to rescue the horse. Didn't have any business, didn't have any aim, didn't know what he was going to do. Just didn't want to see what was going to happen in his own backyard. And the Amish took really uh, a lot of, uh, had a lot of gratitude for that. And so they worked with him. Let's, what are you going to do? How are you going to pay for everything? What are you, where are you going to keep them and all that? So he, he worked it out uh, over time. And he said, he's from Ohio. That's where the Amish were over there in that area, near the Indiana, um, uh, Ohio borderline. And what he decided to do was find a place that would need carriage service. Well, that led him to Wilmington. And Wilmington was in pretty much disrepair. Everybody had left this place in wholesale fashion. So what he did was, he went to the commerce. He went to the to, to the uh, to the uh, town officials, and he got the okay. He makes he makes the say so of what you would need to do this. And I'm not going to go through everything, but it, it's very detailed. You would think I was going for a uh, government job. And I have a license. What they did was they took the horse and uh, and and mated it with. Uh, an Arabian Grey, and that's why they go from black to gray. Here it is. This is the Cape Fear River. We're on Water Street. We're going to make a left. Across the way is the USS North Carolina, the most highly decorated battleship in World War II. It did its campaign on the, in the Pacific. Cupcake, go in there, ask them uh, for the uh, Carriage Man special, and they will give you a cupcake that has not put any icing on yet. And they will tell you, and they will ask you, what do you want? And uh, and they will give you the icing that you choose. Recommendation. Yes, sir.
So his name is actually Pete. We had um, tour number one out of eight tours here. Um, there are all kinds of controversial um, things that go on on social media about carriage driving, but as you have just heard from our driver, these horses are all rescued from the Amish. They're all Percherons here. Um, I can't say the same for other port cities, but I do know that Savannah has several tours and Charleston has several tours with similar situations. Um, if you are doubtful of supporting the carriage tours, please, a few things you could check out are, does the horse look well, sweaty? This horse was just night. made before we actually went out on our tour. Is there any blood? Can you see their hip bones? Any ribs? Um, any blood in the mouth? Um, these are driving bits. They may look harsh to you Snapple um, people, um, but they are driving bits. Again, there's no blood. There's no anything coming off of them. He's been offered water before and after the 30 minute tour. And he he's about, Pete's about 12 years old. He's now, was he was he brought down from Ohio from the Amish? Yes, he was. He was. So all of the carriage horses in this tour are from the Amish all auctions. The, all the carriage uh, uh, rescue horses, and that's all we have, come from the Ohio Amish country area. Okay, they're not necessarily bought at the slaughterhouse, but they are bought from the Amish. Yeah, they never they never go to a slaughterhouse where we can save them. What we would have done would in the past was save them at the auction we outbid right yes them. okay and so we we got the horses from them so now the amish say well we like doing business with you we like you we like what you're doing they 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 have these horses uh as, as their babies they, right. they raise them from from little yearlings so do you get any of the negative feedback ever or is it all positive around here there is uh, a group that uh, are misinformed, uh, usually the youth, they think that, and they're just misinformed, they think that these horses should be set free out to the wild. And anybody that owns horses knows that's not what happens. Even the horses out in the wild around, uh, out the shorelines, uh, have to get fed. Um, how do you pay for that? How do you, you know, can't just take all the horses and let them free. And they were never meant to be just free. They, God put them on earth to help man do their do their tasks. Now, this this about the, with about becoming dog food um, is really uh, that's why I'm doing it. So I try to reach these people that don't understand. I'm an animal lover. I have two rescued dogs. Right. I love that they're rescued. That's why I took the job. And I'm looking to build the business up so that we can get more and continue to save horses. Well, again, if, if you've got a cart horse and you, you won't see any blood, the sweat is just, I mean, I sweated, a, I'm going to sweat walking today. The snaffle bit, is, it's a driving bit. It's not a snaffle, but it is what he needs to have what you'll see on all driving horses, right? Yeah, they, they are very uh, sensitive to that area. Uh, it's comfortable in them now, and so it doesn't take much. You ever, you ever see when people are driving uh, or riding a horse, you kind of really pull on that bit. We, we don't, we okay. don't, we don't. Well, you know, that will never yes. happen here right. because they are just way too, they're just way too controlled. They, right. You can control them. But you won't work nice them if they're motion. bleeding or have any no, rub no, marks no. from any of the... Um, the anytime there's a problem, the shoe's loose or something, gets fixed automatically, right away. Uh, we have plenty of horses that we can switch to. Um, they're all... What happens is all the horses that are working are here in Wilmington at, at the uh, Front Street uh, uh, facility, the barn's there. Uh, and then the rest of them are uh, up on the other side of the river in Brunswick County uh, and Leland on the farm. And do you rotate them out? Yeah, all the time. Perfect. All Thank the time. You so much. And they get trucked. You know, we have a trailer and a right. truck that brings them back and forth. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you so much. Alrighty, I would pleasure. shake your hand with the group.
So the point I'm trying to make with this video, first and foremost, is we're not putting any more strain on these carriage horses than we do on our show horses, probably actually less. We're not putting any more strain on them than we do on our trail riding horses or even, shoot, the dogs that we have rescued from the pound and go hiking with. So again, I implore you to support local business, especially when you happen to be on vacation in these amazing towns here that we have on the, the coast of North Carolina, South Carolina, and Georgia. Um, and take a moment and really look through, are the horses or mules taken care of? Are they hydrated? Do they look healthy? Do they look like they're in pain or bleeding? And if not, go and enjoy. We just had cupcakes and an incredible crab leg meal from places that were recommended while on that carriage drive and absolutely loved it. Thank you so much.